Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Brotato. Today we're playing a mod called Legends on Leak. It's kind of inspired by League of Legends, which you'll see by the characters that we've got here. Uh, you can definitely tell, so like Ocean's Gorge seems like almost like a gangplank of sorts. Lightning Mage does like this massive amount of like chain lightning, which I think we'll get in today. And there's this very interesting take actually, it's worth having a look and it's by Seraphin on the workshop. But today, I think I'm going to play the Lightning Mage. This one stood out for me the most. So your weapons have a 33.5% chance um, to trigger Lightning. The Lightning will spread for a maximum of three targets and deal 15 damage off, uh, off your elemental damage. Plus 10 elemental damage, plus one max health for every four elemental damage you have. Minus 100 range, melee and engineering. Percentage attack speed modifications are reduced by 50%. So... We could either go for a taser or we could go for a wand. And whereas the wand does a lot of damage in terms of burning damage, I feel like the taser is probably the best option. And then we hope for something like a scared sausage. So we're going to dive in and play with that. I mean, it doesn't mean we can't potentially get a wand as well to support us. Or if we get something like a flamethrower, that would always be quite helpful. Just trying to stick quite close here. Just so we can get as much of the materials as possible, especially if it chains. There we go. Happy with that. Alright, let's go for some damage. So we're looking for essentially as many tasers as we can. Lifestyle elemental damage. Nope. I mean, fertilizer might not be a bad shout either today. Are we really playing this game? There we go. I was about to say. It's really not having us do that, is it? There we go. So one thing... Oh, well, I've got quite a few questions actually about this. So if your lightning chains, can it trigger another lightning? I'm not sure. Or if your taser has multiple projectiles, can, but can it chain off all of the projectiles? Again, not sure. So we'll find out. We will find out together here. I'm going to go for armor. I feel like that's going to be a good shout for us. One more. No. All right. We got two tasers. That's okay. So we're clearing out quite well. So I think we go for essentially armor, elemental damage. And all of the burn related items. So scared sausage, uh, eye surgery to inflict burns quicker, as well as snake would be good. Snake would be very good for us. So let's go health regen there, elemental damage. Okay. Well, there's a snake for us. So we can't inflict burn yet. But I'm hoping that... Mutation does not seem worth it today, actually. I'm not going to go with that. Um, yeah, Snake's not going to really do anything for us until we get uh, the Scared Sausage. So, one thing to keep in mind. But it would work, for example, if we got... Let's say we had a wand as well. Which might not be a bad idea, because the wand does inflict, inflict a larger burn, I think, than Scared Sausage. I could be wrong there, but might be an option. There we go. But again, if we are going that route, maybe it's worth grabbing a couple turrets as well so we can inflict burn in different locations. Definitely take ugly tooth, really slow them down like crazy. 5% attack speed or 2 elemental damage. Got to go for the elemental damage there. Going to go for the luck. We could go for a bit of knockback. But we're slowing everything, so I don't think that matters as much today. Energy bracelet. We're basically going to buy it for elemental damage. I don't think we need crit chance, necessarily. I mean, we'll still take it. 
because even two elemental damage can scale up quite nicely. Got to get all the sources of elemental where we can, because there's not actually that many. So, I don't think Strange Book is going to be an idea today either. So we can't really rely on turrets because we got that minus 100 engineering. That's one thing to bear in mind. There we go. I would like to start getting things like Baby Gecko or Pickup Range. Just because well, our materials are going to be scattered across this entire place. Uh, let's go harvesting. I have a new found respect for harvesting, actually. Could go for some XP gain. That's pretty much all it is, is some luck for XP gain. I'll take it. Take weird food. This is exactly what we needed. This is what we needed. I'm happy with that. There we go. I don't mind waiting till next round to pick up scared sausage at all. I'd rather that be locked. And hopefully get another taser, for example. So, yeah. I'm happy with that pick. Because it's not like we're currently struggling either. Okay, I did walk into that. <laughs> That's one. There we go. There we go. And this is definitely one thing you can you can see because we played the um, AI the AI previously. You can tell that I'm definitely not using the AI because my dodging is nowhere near as good as that one. <laughs> All right. It's a lot of max health, so we'll go with that. Extra speed. Okay, now we go like this, this, this. Reroll this. Definitely grab that. So 33 times 4 burning damage. That's quite a lot. Whereas this is 27 times 3. So, and a 25% chance to inflict it. So it's definitely a stronger burn on the wand. But the taser gets multiple projectiles as it levels up. So I, I feel like it's a better wand. It's a more utility-based wand kind of thing. Especially when we do have... Whoa. That egg got destroyed. Um, especially when we do have things like Ugly Tooth as well. It's worth having a look. There we go. Maybe we increase our range a little bit as well. Make sure we've got like about 60 range or something. Just so we don't have to stand on people. Because if they're a little bit tougher enemies or they're bosses for example. They're, the burn isn't going to kill them quick enough uh, for us to just run straight through. So we'll have a look. I mean, Lightning Shift could be a very good way of triggering all the Chain Lightnings as well. If each of its chain, each of its chain can do the same, that'd be good. It's a lot of percentage damage, but three elemental damage. Right. Now we go for attack speed there. Yep. Another Taser. I am going to do a turret. Get a little bit more. Coffee's good. Taser's good. Sad tomato. You know what? I'll do sad tomato as well. Like I said, we needed health regen. And that is one of the better items to grab for it. Sure, you started 50%, but that'll be fine. I mean, these guys are getting absolutely deleted, which is a good sign. But I want to see if the chain lightning will... Yeah, I think it will actually. It looked there like it actually spread the burn. Oh wow, he got... <laughs> that guy got absolutely munched. Perfect. Build feels like it's coming together. I mean, wave 10 is going to be the... The first real test for us. Wave 9 won't matter at all because we have so much AoE clearing that we'll be fine. There we go. We could do with more trees. Elemental damage. Yep. Ooh. 12% though. I'll go with a little bit. I want a bit of percentage damage as well to go with it all. We definitely go for that. Okay. Maybe elephants. Campfire. Campfire feels very good for us. 
Eye surgery. Perfect coffee. Cyclops worm. It's 12% damage, though. You can't really fault that, can you? Yeah, you lose a bit of range, but it's a lot easier to get that range back than it is 12% damage. Especially considering we're going to be taking the coffee. So we're actually only getting like 10% damage uh, if we were to buy it. But even then, it's still pretty valuable. There we go. Going to go around collecting as much as we can. Got to check how our harvesting is doing. Because we haven't had a lot of harvesting items, but it should still be in a good spot. There we go. Yeah, like I said, nothing really to worry about on this particular one. Got to start thinking about getting some armor as well in case we get hit. Because the boss fight, we will get hit. There's no doubt about it. Like I said, I haven't got the uh, dodging skills of an AI. 59 harvesting. Okay, we're in a good spot. I'm going to take the attack speed in that particular case. Elemental damage. Yes, yes, yes. Yes to more of this. So now we should have 50% chance to deal. Burning or oh, ignite someone. Uh, yep. Yeah. More elemental damage. Again, let's leave it at that. So wave 12 is going to be our first elite. Today would have been great if we could have had the elite horde waves instead, but... I shouldn't really argue. Okay. Getting additional items to help us with the amount we heal from consumables might be a good shout as well. That's going to give us a good burst of healing when we need it. There we go. But so far, wave 10 feeling pretty good. I think the fact that we cover a large area is helping us quite a bit. Making it feel like the fact they spawn so spread out doesn't really matter too much. There we go. Nice. Very, very nice. Ooh. Haven't got a lot of speed at the moment. We haven't got a lot of dodge. I'm going for the damage. Armor. Yep. Yep. Oh, the XP is tempting, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> a minigun? How's that going to work with this? Your weapons have a... Hang on, I'm going to lock that. Your weapons have a 45% chance to trigger lightning. The lightning damage will spread for, to a maximum of three targets and deal 64 elemental damage, and we got a chance to burn. If we gave... If we had a minigun, we'd be spreading that burn. How would that work? You know what? It's tempting. It's very tempting, actually. I'll go for a helmet. Sure. Right, we're on one health, so let's be a little bit careful. Let's not be too, too hasty when it comes to all these things. Okay, there we go. That's going to make me feel a little bit better. Now that we got some consumables in us. There we go. A lot better. Just trying to keep an eye on that turret. Because it's not really... Oh, there you go. It inflicted the burn. I was a bit concerned. At 50% chance of inflicting burn, it was not doing anything. There we go. A minigun is a silly idea, right? It's got to be. I mean, think about it. If you were fighting a, an elite and you were just doing a silly amount of chain lightning I feel like you gotta do it um sure I'll take that I have faith I have faith take a little bit of range there 
I gotta do it. Gotta do it. We need to at least see. Well, I mean, we're not doing a lot of damage. This is a s strange, <laughs> to say the least. I mean, we'll take it. All right. <laughs> I mean, we'll take it. You know it gets you know it gets bad when your uh, your essentially your mid lane picks up a minigun and just starts going absolute ham. Now all we need is a flamethrower. That will sort out our lifesteal situation. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm happy with this. It's such a silly pickup, but it'll do. Yeah, more enemies. Ricochet. I actually don't think we take Ricochet. I don't think it's worthwhile. Luck and Harvesting. 5% attack speed down though. Minus 3% crit chance. That's fine. Not keen on this. Losing the 6%. But we could always grab that. Grab you, grab you next time. Okay. Alright, we're making plans. Get wrecked, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is... Uh, I think this has made my day. Thinking that a mage is currently running around with a minigun. He's just given up on magic. i just gone absolute ham. There we go. It's kind of like playing like either the Jinx with his with a minigun or Zeri. There you go. There's a League of Legends reference for you. Had to throw one in there somehow. There we go. Oh, we're doing doing decent damage actually. And weirdly enough, we are critting fairly often, which is quite funny. It was really funny to see. There we go. Yep, elemental damage. Attack speed. Yeah. I mean, what's funny is it's nearly at a point where that would actually make a difference, but obviously it's not going to work today for us. Get more harvesting? Nah. Crit chance dodge, range down. We're going to need a lot of dodge to do anything about that. So we're not going to. Explosion size, that's not really going to matter to us. But you are going to have a bad time. He is going to have a very bad time today. There we go. Thing is, we got the Ugly Tooth as well. So that's just going to ramp up, well, decrease their speed, like, super quickly. Don't have to worry about these these babies, really, because they're going to get popped so quickly as well. It kind of works. It kind of works. There we go. Pop, 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 pop. Nice. What are we actually looking for? There's the wolf the wolf helmet that will give us more elemental damage, I believe. Um There's no burn legendaries, is there? I mean that'll do. Yeah, sure. Elemental damage. Yes, sure. I mean, I would take a garden, actually. It reduce, we've got a bit of cooldown reduction here. Give us a bit more support. Bandana may be an option. We're not really doing damage with the piercing. I'd actually... Ooh. I don't think bandana is the play today. Weirdly enough. 
Attack speed, crit chance, and range. I think we take that, though. Chance to heal up when picking up a material. Yeah. We can go with that. We can definitely go with that. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Get all of these guys. Alright. Recovery is starting to get to a point where I'm happy with it. You'd always do with it a little bit more. Especially considering we haven't got a huge amount of armor, I don't think. Saying that I haven't actually checked it in a while. But... I really want to test this against the Rhino boss. The Rhino Elite, I guess we could say. There we go. A baby Gecko could go a long way, just so we get a little bit more consistent healing. Well, because we'll get that percent chance to uh, pick up materials. Okay, let's reroll. We'll get the armor. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Uh, percent damage armor speed. Du -du -du -du, max health. It's not a bad one. I just don't think it's great for us right now. I think that's good. I think that's fine. Again, it's just fine in that particular case. All right, let's go with that. There we go. Do, 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 do. They are instantly dying. Nice. Very, very nice. Still got loads of consumables on the ground. A good health pool. Oh yeah, we're we're in a very good spot right now. Look at that. Yeah, I would have loved to have taken Bandana or Ricochet, but I just don't think it works today. I think we have enough clearance. Losing the damage would just be hurtful. Nope. More elemental damage. I'm just taking everything I can find when it comes to that. Tardigrade, always nice, especially considering we've got triangular power. Another snake, maybe. It doesn't hurt. Especially considering our burns are quite strong right now. So if we can spread it, that'd be good. The minigun is a very good shout with the chain lightning. I'm actually quite pleased with that. I guess you could do the same thing with like an SMG as well. Because it's not really the damage of the minigun that's... That's really the good sign. It's the amount it can trigger. <laughs> it's so silly. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, so you could probably do it with an SMG. Just to get that trigger rate up. Anything with a very low base cooldown. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. I don't think I'm going to get another healing turret. Yep. Range up is good. Still tempted by lifesteal just in case we get a flamethrower, but... Let's take the health regen. No, I'll slowly get our speed up. A little bit too late for a recycling machine, I think. Coupon is not going to pay itself off, I don't think. Oh, what are we going for? Okay, we haven't got... Alright, there we go. There we go. Ghost Flint. Nope. 
Medical gun, alien eyes. Alien eyes could work. Yeah, sure. Why not? Like, it doesn't matter how much you dodge. I just dodge in a straight line and it doesn't work. I do it in League of Legends as well. I tell you what, our boss damage is surprisingly good. It's actually, um, I'm very happy, please. very, very, very happy with it. All right, there we go. It's it's not going to be a quick boss fight, to say the least, but it's a, it's a decent amount of damage. We can actually kill them. So that's going to be good. Would I like to get tasers up to full legendary? Yep, absolutely. Would I like two miniguns? Absolutely. Because I guess if the two bosses are next to each other and we have miniguns that are... Speed and dodge. Speed and dodge. Nah. Uh, miniguns that are firing at either boss. Those are going to trigger the lightning, which will do 120 damage to other targets, which is the other boss, but also at the same time then inflicting the burn which is doing 112 times 3. So yeah, it all scales up quite well, actually. Another taser there. I'm not going to lose my elemental damage. I am going to go for that, though. Do I care about another snake? I don't think I care about another one. We don't need the burn spread anymore. We definitely didn't need the burn spread anymore. There we go. So in terms of recovery, we've got a decent amount of armor. It's We could have done better with the armor situation. But we've got uh, health regen. We've got a little bit of lifesteal now, actually. So that would work. I think with the amount of bounces, actually, lifesteal would have been a good shout. Uh, we then have healing turret we've got consumables coming up everywhere yeah we should be in a good spot i mean it doesn't mean we're safe necessarily because we still get we still could get hit for quite a bit of damage there we go I really should be clearing up these Too late to worry about dodging. I'm going for full elemental damage wherever I can. Yeah. I'll lock snail. I just want to see what we can get here. Etsy scouts could have been good. Alien eyes. I'm going to go alien eyes because we already slow using the taser. We already get ugly tooth. So I think we're fine. What else could we have had? Another taser. Okay. Right. Let's go then. Like I said, hoping for the bounce between the two. I think that'll be good. We've lost one of our tardigrades already. The damage it's doing is incredible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. That was... An insane amount of damage, actually. Does it tell you how much damage dealt? 110,000? That's not a lot. Huh. Maybe it wasn't that. Can we see our passive? No. But that was the Lightning Mage. I think that was really good. Hope you guys did enjoy that. Definitely worth checking the link out. Uh, in the description if you want to get this mod pack for yourself. But with that, guys, I will catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.